Okay, so now that we've got our cover kind of put together, we're gonna go ahead and ink the edges. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I like to um, just give the edge a little bit of definition. So I'm gonna do that. And then um, I also printed out a kit to use with this. Now, if you watched our other video for um, this kind of journal, um, it was uh, lace and ivory. And so a lot of the stuff I printed out was in shades of white and beige. But for this one, I'm using our shabby script kit and it has a little bit more, um, just little elements of floral and pink along with like some handwritten script. So that's what I'm gonna be using to decorate this one. But um, again, you can pick whatever you want. You know, if you like purple, pick purple. If you like kittens, pick kittens. <laughs> it's really up to you. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and ink these edges and then we'll decorate the cover. Cover. If you put your book together, these two little um, one and a half inch spines go to the side and this three inch spine goes over here. So that makes this the front cover. And um, you can see that I've got a seam here from the paper. And what I'm going to do is just kind of cover that up and decorate the rest of it. So let's get started with that. And don't feel like you have to do everything exactly the way I'm doing it. You know, pick out your favorite card for the cover. Or pick out your favorite, you know, lace. You don't have to try to make it look exactly like this one. It's okay to do your own thing. And I'm going to do a little tearing. And I think I'm going to ink that edge up too. And this just comes in the kit. A lot of things will be from that shabby script kit. Well, oops, I forgot I wanted to. Well, that doesn't make much sense. I was going to round the corners, but since I'm tearing it, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm just gonna see how this looks. And a lot of junk journaling is that way too. You know, you try something, you look at it, and if it doesn't look right, you try something else. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is make this into a pocket. So I'm going to just glue the top and the side and the bottom and I'm going to leave one side open so I can slide something under it. Now we've got our cover. Voila, looks pretty good. And I think now I'll go ahead and add something to this back cover. And since we're using our script, shabby script scrap pack, I think this looks pretty appropriate for this part. Oops, excuse me, I got a little hiccup happening. And this is just, um, you know, fabric ribbon that's been stamped and I got it on Etsy. I cannot remember where. If I can find out, I'll try to put the link below so you can get some if you want. Okay, and I think I'm going to add a little label holder. Alright, 
so it's starting to come together. Let's go ahead and work on our back cover. And this has kind of been jumping out at me. I kind of like the way it looks. I think I'll use that. Okay, and since we've got it open, I think I'm gonna go ahead and decorate these inside flaps too. And so just to give you a visual, um, hopefully this doesn't fall off. These are going to go inside the journal like this. So when you first open it, these will be kind of the first flaps you see, and then you'll open it the rest of the way. So I think I'm gonna put maybe some pockets or something on these, just kind of decide here. Okay, sorry, I had to stop for a minute. My kitty wasn't feeling very good. <laughs> so um, we were talking about maybe adding some like pockets or something to these panels. And I went ahead and I printed some pages from the Shabby Script kit. And then I flipped them over and printed more pages on the other side. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick just like three, three such pages here, one, two, three and I'm gonna fold them in half. And then I'm going to tear them to make a small booklet about, you know, a little bit smaller than our, um, you know, our the size of our journal. And um, I'm doing that because I'm looking ahead. I know I'm going to want one inside the journal. And then I'm also gonna to wanna to use the scraps to make some pockets and things. So I'm going to try to <laughs> do this the way I'm envisioning and we'll see if it turns out the way that I hope. So, what do I want to do first? I'll just try this. Tearing's not as easy as it sounds. There we go. So something that's roughly, you know, this wide. And if you can't get it going, it's okay to give it just a little scissor right there, and that should get you started. And that gives us some nice scraps to work with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make it just about as tall as the journal and a little bit, a little bit shorter. So. I'm gonna start probably right here. There we go. And um, this is actually going to have some layering to it. So what I'm going to do is kind of tear back this first page. And then tear back the second page, only a little bit smaller. And then just kind of keep doing that for a few pages to give it this kind of cool torn layered look. And that'll make it look like, you know, just some scraps. And I'm saving all these scraps because I'm going to probably use them to decorate parts of my journal. All right, so I'm gonna put my little torn scrap booklet aside. And I'm going to go grab some of those bigger scraps that we tore off. Actually, these might be just right. And we're gonna use them to make some pockets. Kind of just pick the ones we like best. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these. So 
Sorry, I tend to move off camera because my body's over here and the camera's over here. <laughs> I tend to pull things close so I can see them. I need bifocals, but I don't want to get them because that means I'm old. <laughs> I'll probably end up getting them next time I'm at the doctor. Okay, so yeah, we've got lots of choices here. Kind of like all of them. I really like this one. And I really like this one. Hmm. No. Choices, choices. Too many choices. Okay. So what I'm going to do is make kind of a layered pocket here like this that we can tuck cards into. So find some smaller tags or cards. So you can just kind of, you know, tuck them in like that. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to start with this one. And you can glue the edge here, or you can just glue the top and bottom so that you can slide an even bigger card inside. That's up to you. I think I'm gonna try just gluing the top and bottom and see how that works. Okay, and now you can see if I can find some cards that will work here. How these pockets work. Something kind of like this. And I might have put this guy a little too far out. So he may not be the best pocket to use. I might leave him empty. But he's a nice little background pocket. And you can like tilt him out a little so we can see him. There we go. All right. I'm not going to do that yet though because I always do that before my glue dries and then I can't get them out of my pockets. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and decorate this back flap. And question. I did print out some of the papers from the kit too, from the Shabby Script kit. And I might use one of those. Ooh, kind of like this one. So I think I'm going to just kind of tear this guy like this. And this guy. Yeah. The other direction. There we go. And he can go under here and he can go on here and then that'll make kind of a cute little double pocket. And you can see there's a line here. And if you wanted to, you could cover that up with something. You know, you could use a card from the kit or some paper. I might go ahead and cover that up just because it kind of looks a little dumpy like that. So you can see kind of how you can tuck something under there and then tuck something in there. And I might decorate this up just a little bit. I've got some flowers from our Fussy Cut Flowers kit. That might look kind of pretty here.
go. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing for today. And when we come back, we'll start decorating inside our journal and then we'll put our clasp on. So thank you for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next segment.